how to learn any language on your own. I'm the walking proof that it's possible. I'm an English coach, I'm an English teacher, but today I would like to share my story with you on how I achieved full fluency in Spanish in just seven months. Almost for free. Guys, if I could do it, you can do it as well. You don't need any special talent. You don't need any special abilities. You just need four things. A goal, passion, full immersion, and constant curiosity. I'm at the seaside today, so let's dive right in. The thing number one to learn any language on your own is a goal, a very specific goal. If you're gonna have a very specific goal, if you're gonna answer this question, why, why do I want to learn this language? Your journey is gonna be easier, faster, and at the same time, much more effective. I speak three languages. Polish is my native language, English is my second language, and Spanish is my third language. Let's say it like this because it's the order that I acquired or learned these languages. So I'm in Spain right now and I mentioned at the very beginning of this video that this video is gonna be my story of how I learned Spanish in just seven months. So let me give you an example of a goal that was really strong and very specific. I came to Spain and I spoke zero Spanish. My level of Spanish was hola que tal, which means hi, how are you? <laughs> Nothing else. And my dream was, when I was a teenager, my dream was to, to live in Spain and to have a Spanish partner. These dreams came true because I am in Spain, which is my base, because I'm a full-time traveler and I have a Spanish partner. But my goal was very specific. I needed to communicate with people here. And it was a matter of life and death even because um, when I came to Spain some months later I started to have some health problems and I needed to go to a doctor in a local town and doctors in a local town at least here in the Canary Islands they didn't speak English I mean of course they do but this is my experience the doctor that I had an appointment with um, didn't speak English so I really needed to communicate. I became a resident here in Spain. And obviously in the government offices, nobody cares if you don't speak Spanish, you just need to speak Spanish. So I had a very specific goal. I needed to adapt to a new culture, to a new, new country. Everything was new and everything was in Spanish. I needed to adapt. So that's why I learned this language so, 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 so fast. And this goal was keeping me motivated all the time to keep digging, to keep discovering new words, to keep learning and practicing. I was practicing really actively. But you may have a different goal. Maybe you learn your target language, English for example, for professional reasons. And this is also a very specific and a very strong goal, let's say, right? Because you want to make more money, you want to maybe get a better job. So you need English for that or you need some other language. So make sure that you set a very specific goal. When I ask my students, sometimes they tell me, yeah, I just want to become fluent in English. Of course, everybody wants to be fluent, but is this really specific? Is this really gonna keep you motivated when you feel lazy? Because of course we all have ups and downs and we all know that every language journey has its ups and downs. Sometimes we are extremely motivated, but sometimes we are extremely demotivated and that's okay. My point is that your goal is gonna keep you motivated because even if you are really lazy and if you're gonna remind yourself, okay, I need to learn this language, I need to study because I want to make more money because I want to travel to this specific country and I need English for that. You want to meet uh, your life partner as I did for example here in Spain but we started speaking English at the beginning because I didn't speak Spanish but in all of these circumstances you need a language. You make sure to pause this video for a second and ask yourself this question why do I learn this language? Why do I need it? And make sure that you come up with a very specific reason and a very specific goal. And if you lose motivation, which will be completely normal, it happens to all of us. Remember about the science behind this. Now I would like to read a paragraph uh, that is inspired by Dr. Tara Swart. 
she's an amazing doctor. She inspires me a lot. I'm really passionate about brain development and neuroplasticity. How do we learn languages and what's the process in our brain? So let me read it for you because it's awesome. When we learn a new language, our brain changes and grows. It's proven scientifically. This is because of something called neuroplasticity, which means our brain can adapt and make new connections. So when you learn a new language, your brain actually makes connections inside here. Dr. Tara Swart, a well-known expert, explains that when we practice a new language, our brain builds new pathways that help us understand and use that language better. It's like our brain gets stronger and better with each session of learning a language, with each practice. You are improving and this is scientifically proven. The last sentence that I would like to read, every time you learn a new word or practice speaking, your brain is getting smarter and more skilled at the language. So if you lack motivation at some point. Remember about your goal and remember about your brain, that your brain is actually doing the work, an amazing work. Obviously, the more languages you speak, the smarter your brain becomes, the more pathways it creates. It leads me to think number two, that you need to learn any language on your own, which is passion. I'm really passionate about every language that I learned. It's so awesome to learn a language. I feel smarter and I kind of found this passion because believe me or not, I was studying German for nine years and I didn't find this passion, to be honest with you. So because I was a kid, I didn't understand why German can be important and I didn't know how to become passionate about learning a language. Maybe it's scientifically proven as well, but what I'm gonna share right now, it's from my own experience. I taught myself how to become passionate about learning languages. Now, I would like you to think about something that you like, some of your passions, something that you enjoy, something that gives you pleasure. I want you to ask yourself a question, how do I connect this thing with my target language. Maybe you're gonna simply watch shows on Netflix in your target language with the subtitles in your target language. Maybe you're gonna learn something new that you would learn anyway, but in your target language. Maybe you're gonna talk to yourself. There are millions of options. Find a way to connect your passion with your target language. Now, when I can speak Spanish fluently, I learn marketing in Spanish. I learn brain development, psychology, spirituality in English. And I learn something that's called family constellation therapy in Polish, but in Spanish as well. I'm here in Spain right now in the Canary Islands. I'm sorry for the sounds. There are some British guys. Um, basically partying. Sorry for that. Anyway, uh, what I was saying, that I'm in Spain and I take part in the family constellations therapy and I do it in Spanish and I did it in Polish. So what I mean by that? Languages unlock different realities. Honestly, I feel that every language that I learn gave me something unique, something completely unexpected, something that I could not learn in Polish, for example, because there is this marketing strategy uh, when it comes to Instagram stories that it's still not on the Polish market and it's here on the Spanish market. So you know what I mean? Uh, you can learn so many different things that are not available in your native language. And again, it smoothly leads me to think number three, that you need to learn any language on your own, which is full immersion, most probably the most important one. Full immersion means surrounding yourself with a language as much as possible. I mean, whenever you can, you need to have this language in your life. So I am Polish, but I want to improve my Spanish and English. So everything that I consume is in Spanish or in English. And my phone and my computer are set to, to English in this case. I talk to myself both in English and in Spanish. Um, I listen to podcasts. This is very personal. You need to find your own way. When it comes to my story with Spanish, when I ca came here to Spain, I was completely, 
totally immersed in this culture. You know, I started to understand the aspects of the Canary culture because actually here in the Canary Islands, the culture is a little bit different than in Madrid, for example. And now most probably you're going to ask yourself a question. Okay, Veronica, wait a second. So can I learn a language not living in this country? Obviously, my friend, you can. The answer is yes because it was never easier than in 2024 you can use ai chat gpt you can talk to various apps and you can have a full immersion in the culture with the internet in 2024 it's totally possible of course it's easier when you move to an english-speaking country or when you move to a country of your target language but it is possible without going there. This is how I learned English. So remember, full immersion is absolutely necessary. Right after this video, jump right into ChatGPT and start chatting with ChatGPT, with the artificial intelligence. Yes, it can be a little bit weird, but this is how you actually improve your language skills. This is how you actually practice active learning. And the good thing about ChatGPT is that you actually can ask questions and it's gonna correct your mistakes it's awesome and it's for free and the last thing thing number four that you need to learn any language on your own is constant curiosity honestly guys i think that i'm a little bit annoying for my boyfriend because every time that i don't understand something in spanish every time that i have some doubt i ask him immediately and I tell him, no entiendo, which is like, I don't understand in Spanish. Um, and I ask him, me lo puedes explicar? O que significa? Like, can you explain it to me? What does it mean? And sometimes he's like, oh my God, again, I need to explain something to her. But actually, this is so helpful. I, I am so curious about different words, about new words. Or for example, my mother-in-law, she always uses some words in Spanish that I don't understand. I think that a lot of people are really shy when it comes to asking for an explanation or repetition, but honestly, I don't care. I always ask because I'm really curious. And she always explains it to me with a smile on her face. So I think that it's really cool and really okay to ask if you don't understand something. For example, if I watch a show in Spanish or in English and I don't understand a word, I pause the show and I instantly go and check it out on Google. I look it up on Google and this is really important that you don't just translate to your native language. This is the next video, um, how to think in English or how to think in your target language. It's important that you read the definition in your target language if your level is already pretty intermediate, I would say. I would not translate it to Polish, which is my native language. So this thing number four is really connected to thing number two, passion and constant curiosity. Because if you are passionate about this language, you're gonna be curious. You're gonna ask yourself questions. If you want me to make a separate video about full immersion like itself, just let me know down below in the comments. I would like to introduce something that's called task-based language learning, TBLT. So I talked about a little bit before without naming it properly. So, you know, if you need to bake a cake, for example, because you have a party, instead of finding a recipe in your native language, do it in your target language. For example, how to make, I don't know, an apple pie in English, or how to bake a carrot cake. If you want to learn a new skill, learn it in your target language. This is how you're gonna connect your daily life, your necessities, something that you really need to do to your target language. And you're gonna see that your target language is gonna just simply skyrocket like this and achieving full fluency in a very short period of time as an adult is totally possible i say as an adult because a lot of people have this negative belief that oh my god i'm too old to learn a new language that's a f bullshit. i'm sorry for the vocabulary but this is how you limit yourself this is a negative belief i am an adult I achieved full fluency in Spanish when I was 21. And I started learning Spanish when I was 21. It is possible, okay? Don't tell me it's not. And don't tell yourself it's not. Neuroplasticity doesn't lie. 
listen to Dr. Tara Swart if you don't believe me. I'm going to link some of her podcasts here. It was awesome. It was a podcast with Mel Robbins, I guess. And you can listen to a real expert about neuroplasticity. Anyway, the last thing that I would like to mention is consistent, committed, imperfect action. I didn't invent this concept. I learned this concept in a conscious business accelerator by Aaron, Matt, and Victor. These are American coaches that teach conscious business. And this is where I learned this concept, but I loved it so much that I decided to share this here with you. It's very important to stay really committed to this language that you want to learn and stay consistent. And if you apply this full immersion, it means that you're going to stay consistent because this target language is going to be in your life every single day. You basically live (laughs) with this language. And the last uh, word is imperfect action even if you make mistakes even if you are not perfect even if you forget words even if sometimes you get stuck confused demotivated angry anxious just stick with it just commit yourself and keep going here for example on my youtube channel i really try to apply this rule consistent, committed, imperfect action. And this is very imperfect. Uh, I'm speaking right now. Some guys are partying. So most probably you hear them partying. You can hear the waves, the wind. My hair is a total mess. I just took a dip in the ocean. It doesn't matter. I just committed to recording this Euro video. I just committed to helping you guys, to inspiring you. Because if, if this video is gonna help at least one person, this is a success for me. And if your target language is English, I invite you to join the fun English community. This is the community that I created from my experience and I put all my heart and passion in it. We have speaking sessions. You get access to the fun Telegram group where I share daily lessons. And it's a beautiful community of like-minded people. This is a safe space to learn English with my guidance. So if you feel that this is a place for you, if you feel that you want to connect with me and other beautiful people, just check the link in the description box. So if you find this video useful and if it helped you even a little bit, subscribe to this channel, give this video a like to support my work. I read your comments down below and hope to see you in the next video.